peek into the future of the world from four walls of my classroom. This exhibition is about art, science, and technology that revolves around the everyday life. My grade six B students are trying to portray the global burning issues prevailing today. I'm sure you will appreciate and applaud the hard work and creativity my kids have put in while creating the individual project which you're about to see. Lastly, but most importantly, I would like to thank the mentors and parents for their patience, cooperation, and constant support. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hello, everyone. I'm Andrea, and today I'm going to be talking about human rights. Human rights. Human rights. What are human rights? Human rights are standards that acknowledge and defend the dignity of all people. What are the examples of human rights? Right to freedom, right to speak, right to live free from discrimination, right to be equally treated. What are human responsibilities? Individuals have a responsibility to confirm that they exercise their rights considerately for the rights of others. What are the human responsibilities being a citizen of a country? We should respect the emblem and anthem, adapt to the laws of our country, defend the power, unity and integrity of the country. What are the responsibilities of humans towards the environment? Humans have a responsibility to look after the environment. Part of taking care of the environment involves a certain degree of social responsibility when it comes to disposing of waste, using natural resources, etc. What are women rights? Women rights are the rights and entitlements claimed women and girls worldwide. They have faced discrimination, unemployment, and child marriage. Along with COVID-19 and all the world's problems, this is also the biggest problems in the world today. Children's rights. All children have the right to education, a right to a home, a right to freedom, and a right to food. But some parents don't allow these rights, and that's where these supporters come in. Supporters of these problems. UNICEF, Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, Civil Rights Defenders, and UN Watch supports these problems. This is the bibliography of my information. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Raya Gusti from 6B, and my exhibition topic is about gender inequality. Gender inequality is the social phenomenon in which men and women are not treated equally. Number one, women, workplaces. On average, American women are more educated than men, but they get only 80% of what men are paid. Number two, men, inequality towards men. Does it exist? There is a stereotype built into many people's head onto what men should look, act, and wear. Sexism and what it is. Sexism is when someone gets judged based on their gender. Many people believe that one gender is always superior to another. Catcalling with women. Catcalling, also known as street harassment, is the act of shouting, harassing, and often sexually suggestive, threatening, or derisive comments at someone publicly. Why is it called catcalling? It is called catcalling because it is associated to how cats are called to bring them closer. It was also known as paratism in the 1960s and wolf whistling in the 1943 cartoon Red Hot Riding Hood. How to stop it? Solutions. Share household chores and child care equally. Household chores and children's care are every adult's responsibility, not just women's. Watch for signs of domestic violence. Get some help and support if you know a friend or an acquaintance who is suffering domestic violence. Support mothers and parents. Those who are responsible for the children's and teens need support in every society. Reject chauvinists and racist attitudes. Do not make comments that are ridiculous, demean, and humiliate women, black people, indigenous people, members of the LGBTQI, or any other historically marginalized group. Thank you for your time. Please spread awareness.
Hello everyone, my name is Atarva, I'm from 6B, and my mentor's name is Ms. Hina. I'm going to talk about data security concerns. Here is a small skit about two people, Ben and John. John cannot earn a lot of coins in FIFA, so Ben wanted to help him. So John thought that if he brought his phone, Ben would help, but Ben wanted his email ID and password. John agreed. So he told his email ID and his password. Then Ben went home and later that day, he tried to hack him using his laptop. So the next day, John realizes that all his data is gone and he thinks that Ben has hacked it. So data security concerns means that our data is on a risk. It can be on any technological item. Data tampering simply means hacking into someone's account without having the authorization to do so. Data tampering prevention can happen in two ways. Firewalls. A firewall is a barrier that protects your data from viruses, threats, or from data tampering. Authorization, the process of giving permission to the user to access websites, applications, or games. In a website, there are three types of icons. The lock icon, which means that the website is secure and there are no threats in it. The info icon, which means maybe the website is not secure. And the caution icon, which means that the website is not secure and dangerous, which has threats and viruses. I hope you liked my presentation. Have a good day ahead. Bye. Hello everyone. My name is Jinya. Today I'm going to present a topic called hydroponics. Hydroponic plant. Hydroponic system. Hydroponic is a system in which we grow plant only with water and without soil. Normally a root can only survive in a soil. But through this system, we can see how a node forms and provides nutrients without the help of soil and only with water. Method of growing hydroponic plant. Keep your seed in a rock pool and provide enough oxygen and nutrients for it. Make sure that you didn't keep it in a place where there is sunlight. Then spray water to the plant twice a day and give it a bit sunlight and then keep it for diagnosis. Repeat this for one week. After one week, you can see a good improvement in your plant. Now you have to spray some nutrient water in it. If you repeat this every day, you can see a good improvement by one month. By spraying nutrient water and giving it enough oxygen, your hydroponic plant will be healthy. Advantages of growing hydroponic plant. We don't have to use soil. Hydroponic plant can control climate changes. We do not need to give any medicines like cow dung, the mixture of rotten vegetables and fruit. Nutrient water is enough for the hydroponic plant. Hydroponic plant provides a lot of fruits and vegetables. A hydroponic plant can grow faster than a normal plant grows. Why should we grow a hydroponic plant? At some countries, fruits and vegetables take time to grow. Due to lack of seasons, at this time, if you grow a hydroponic plant, it produces fruits and vegetables faster than a normal plant does. Hydroponic plant can control climate change. In some countries, due to pollution, a climate change happens. So to prevent that, we can grow hydroponics and control the climate change. Bibliography. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Aarav Gupta, and today I'm going to talk about the economic cause due to racism. Racism is when someone treats another person differently due to different skin color, nationality, language, or gender. It happens everywhere in our neighborhoods, shopping malls, offices, and countries all over the world. It can happen to anyone, black people, brown people, white people, minorities, poor people, and even people from other nationalities. Some of the big examples globally popular are Adolf Hitler killing millions of Jewish people, Aborigines killed in large numbers in Australia, African slaves in America and Europe, removal of American Indian children from families to the boarding school. Racism has very negative consequences. It makes a person feel unworthy and even inhuman. This negativity also spreads in the community and world. People develop many biases and become judgmental due to racism. Due to such negative consequences, sections of society become poor. They face many challenges in education and other resources. 
Racism reduces consumption in an economy and also reduces investment. As the Deakin Institute believes, racism costs 44.9 billion Australian dollars to Australian economy between 2001 and 2011. Chinese researcher Yakai Wang says that China and Africa trade is limited due to racism. Economist Dana Peterson estimated 16 trillion dollars to American economy in the last decade due to racism. People do not get loans, same salaries and higher education due to racism. It is very difficult to stop racism, but we all need to stand up against it. Even though it's not always comfortable to talk about racism, but we still need to start doing that. We need to commit to end it. We should stop treating others differently just because they are different. And everybody in the world is human, and we should treat them the same way we want to be treated. This is my bibliography. Thank you, everyone, for listening to my PPT. Good morning, my dear friends. I am Aisha, and today I'm going to speak on augmented reality and virtual reality as my exhibition topic. What is augmented and virtual reality? Augmented reality is an interactive experience of a real world environment where the objects that reside in the real world are enhanced by a computer generated perceptual information. Virtual reality is the use of computer technology to create a simulated environment. I just want to highlight a few very important dates of AR history. In 1990, former Boeing researcher Thomas P. Goodell coined the term augmented reality. Moving forward to 2016, we've all witnessed the Niantic and Nintendo launch Pokemon Go, which became an instant hit with all people. In 2019, Microsoft has introduced the HoloLens 2 headset. Now I would give some important dates of VR. In 1838, Sir Charles Wheatstone constructed the first stereoscope. In 1987, Jan Lehner popularized the term virtual reality while at VPR Research. In 2014 came the biggest news when Facebook bought the Oculus VR company for over 2 million dollars a defining moment in virtual reality history There are many usages of AR in today's world Everybody has to use Google Street View which is a very good example of augmented reality It is also now being used in commerce shopping sports and games etc Similarly, VR is also getting into our lives very fast as virtual reality fashion shows, medical training and military exercise and many many more. But in spite of all good advantages of augmented and virtual reality, there are many cons to their usage. Studies have shown their negative effect on our brain activity, vision, aggressive behavior and poor social skills. Finally, I'd now like to highlight how augmented and virtual reality are helping a lot in today's education. Augmented and virtual reality can provide K-12 educators with interactive and engaging tools for classroom learning. Augmented reality can help learners grasp abstract concepts and gain hands-on experiences in low-risk virtual settings. This shows that if used properly, augmented and virtual reality can be very helpful. Thank you so much for watching my presentation and I hope you've all learned something from it. Hi everyone. My name is Sarsh Pandey from Grade 6. And today I'm going to be talking to you about food security. Food security exists when all people at all times have physical and economic access to sufficient safe and nutritious food. Why does it matter? According to a report, 155 million people in the 55 countries selected for the report had experienced acute food insecurity or severity. This number had increased by 20 million compared to 2019, with 63% of the experiencing food insecurity located in Africa. In the recent times, there have been many events such as COVID-19, Ukraine-Russia war, slowdown of global economy, etc., that have contributed to increase in poverty globally. Consequently, a lot of underdeveloped and developing countries are facing food shortages due to geopolitical reasons. Some statistics made by the world. In 2020, between 720 and 800 million people faced hunger. 
Healthy diets are out of reach for 3 billion people. What are the factors impacting food security? Reduction of agricultural land, changing climate, economic instability, and geopolitical reason. What are the solutions to ensure food security? Encouraging young generation to take up agriculture as a profession, reducing food wastage at home, scientists should develop new methods of farming which can protect the crops from natural calamities. Better trade relationship within countries so that as equity in supply of food. To support poor and hungry people near apartment, I propose a building management to install a refrigerator of capacity 350 liters to 500 liters for an apartment size of 100 units where residents can put their excess food. Poor and needy people can take their home and eat it. This can reduce food, food wastage. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Abdul Shahid, and today I'm going to be presenting my exhibition on the topic lack of education. What is lack of education? You guys must be thinking, what is lack of education? So I thought, let's put up a presentation on my exhibition. Lack of education can be called a place where people have a below average level of common knowledge about their basics that they would need urgently in their daily life. It can also be that some schools only allow boys to study and not girls. These are some examples of lack of education. Lack of education affecting the world. The people have lack of education will be having trouble getting ahead in life and it will affect their future. They will have bad health and they will be very poor. If people have lack of education, it will affect the economy. Negative effects of lack of education, poor health, shorter life, Poverty, unemployment, lower salary, gender inequality, to economy. Less technology. The people have la the people with lack of education don't have technologies. For example, poor people can't learn by watching various videos in YouTube. In class, they can't use projector, which is very helpful in learning in daily life. Poor health. People have lack of education, have very poor and harsh health. Because if people are less educated, they will earn less money. And if they get some disease, they might not have enough money for treatment. Here are some pictures about various types of lack of education. Conclusion. I think that we should all be aware of many people have lack of education. I think that we should donate stuff to people too because this will save many people's life. This is my bibliography. Thank you. I would like to start my presentation by saying this. I'm not interested in changing the world. I'm interested in changing minds. Because only if the people out there are ready to listen, we can make a true difference. My topic for my grade 6 exhibition is glaciers melting. But before I dive deep, let's start with the basic question. What are glaciers? A glacier is when snow accumulates over time, turns into ice, and begins to flow under its own pressure. Now that we know this, you all might be wondering, so how are these glaciers formed? A glacier is formed when snow accumulates over time, turns into ice, and begins to flow under its own pressure. If the snow survives one uh, winter season, it forms a more denser layer called fern. The buried layers slowly grow together to form a mass of ice and the ice grains becomes ice crystals. Under the pressure of its own weight and the forces of gravity, it begins to flow. When a glacier flows over a steep area, internal stresses build up on the ice. These stresses can, small, can cause small crevices in the glacier. Once snowfall decreases, the glacier will begin to retreat, and as they flow, they push aside rocks, which is then left behind by the glacier. Now that we all know this, it's time to save these glaciers, and we can do that by the smallest of action. If each of us just make a small sacrifice in our life, we can make a huge difference in the world, and I think the glaciers will be pretty thankful. The first one is to swap 
fossil fuels for natural sources of energy like wind energy and solar energy. The next one is pretty easy. Use electricity and water wisely. I think we all have pretty much achieved this, but I'm still gonna say this. Say no to plastic. Now this is something we all should work on. Drive less and walk more are prefer using public transport. The last one is spreading awareness. And we can do that with the help of many social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and many, many more. This is my brochure, and this uh, has questions and answers for many fun questions like why are glaciers blue and the differences between normal ice and glaciers. I would like to conclude by saying, enough talking. Now, let's get into action. Thank you. Hi, my name is Bianca and I'm from 6B. Today, my exhibition topic is air pollution. This is the model I have created and I'd like to talk about it. What is air pollution? Air pollution is when deadly chemicals and substances are exposed to air. The causes of air pollution are factories, natural disasters, smoking, indoor air pollution, and many other more. The, the, the effects of air pollution are respiratory diseases, heart diseases, and lung cancer. Air pollution can also affect other organs such as liver, nerves, brain, kidneys, and many, many other more. The solutions are turn off lights when not use it, when not use, recycle and reuse. Use fans instead of air cons. Plastic bags. Use, do not use plastic bags. Instead, use cloth bags. And that is my exhibition. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Harisha Nirman. My topic today is over construction. The project I have created for this exhibition is a PowerPoint presentation. And here it is. Reconstruction is the will beyond the capacity of the actual need of it being constructed. As urbanization utilizes, agriculture and non-agricultural lands increase conflicts, which, this, which may lead to negative effects caused by agriculture. Urbanization is beneficial to the construction industry as the need for infrastructure appears to handle housing, transportation, education, water supply, sewage system, workplace, etc. The problems over construction causes is air and water pollution, hydrologic impacts, isolation, and population's fragmentation. The negative effects of construction is construction contributes to global warming since it emits large particles of carbon dioxide. It contributes to destruction of plants, traffic, and parking space shortage. Impacts, it impacts many factors like culture, political, and economic systems, etc. Other effects include waste production, mud, dust, soil and water contamination, and damage to public drainage systems. The positive effects of urban construction is that it improves local economic activity. It controls erosion and sediments and soil stabili stabilization. How to solve the problems caused by overconstruction? There are many ways for construction companies to reduce their carbon footprint that do not necessarily involve large investments. We can definitely say that the industry is slowly, slowly changing its approach towards the environmental concerns. For example, green building is becoming a trend nowadays, and there are more innovative ways for companies to cut their carbon footprints. We can reuse buildings instead of constructing new ones. 
specify low carbon concrete mixes, limit carbon intensive materials, choose lower carbon alternatives, reuse materials and maximize structural efficiency. And now lastly, I'm gonna present my brochure. So this is my brochure. Thank you so much. Hello, sir and everybody. Today I will be talking about data security concerns. My mentor is Miss Hina. So let me show you a small skit made by me through programming to scratch programming language. So let's start. Hey John, I'm good. Bro, I can't earn a lot of coins in FIFA. Oh, that's bad. Well, don't worry, I will help you. Whoa, thanks. I will bring my phone. No need for a phone. I will just need your Gmail ID and password. Okay, no problem. My Gmail ID is john1254 at the gmail.com. My password is. So as you guys just saw what, uh, Ben did was very wrong because he gave the Gmail ID and password. Now, Ben is hacking into the account and that is bad. And the next day, John, ha uh, John had no data left inside his phone. So as you guys just saw was an example of hacking. So let's go back to the presentation. So data security concern basically means that your data in the technological item is on a risk. And now one type of data security concerns is data tampering. It means that anybody can hack into your account without having the authorization to do so. Now let me tell you some preventions. Firewalls and authorization are two examples of the prevention. Firewall acts like a barrier and protects your important files. And authorization means the process of giving access to websites, games, and etc. Now, how to check if a site is secure? By using these three icons, you can see if the website is safe or not. Thank you. Bye. Halo semua, saya Alvaro dari kelas 6B. Saya akan ngomongin tentang penyalahgunaan zat. Mari kita simak bareng-bareng. Let's go. Yang pertama, apa itu penyalahgunaan zat? Penyalahgunaan zat adalah ketika seorang menggunakan zat obat-obat terlarang atau tidak legal maupun legal. Bisa ketika mengonsumsi alkohol ataupun obat yang diberi dari apotek tetapi dipakai lebih dari anjuran. Yang kedua, Kenapa mereka melakukannya? Setiap orang yang menyalahgunakan zat-zat terlarang pasti memiliki alasan mereka masing-masing. Sehingga mereka dapat terjebak masuk ke dalam perangkap narkotika, narkoba, atau zat-zat adiktif seperti ingin terlihat keren, ingin bergabung sesuatu kelompok yang ia suka, ataupun ingin tahu rasa penasaran. Apa yang akan terjadi setelah mengonsumsinya? Yang pertama, akan menyebabkan kanker pada tubuh. Yang kedua, menyebabkan kesulitan untuk bernafas, menurunkan daya ingatan, kebingungan dan berkeringat. Tekanan darah juga akan meningkat. Solusinya, berikan pengetahuan dasar tentang narkoba. Anak-anak yang belajar banyak tentang risiko penyalahgunaan alkohol dan narkoba dari orang tua mereka, 50% cenderung lebih rendah untuk penyalahgunakannya. Jelaskan tentang-tentang harapan orang tua. Orang tua bisa membangun kepercayaan pada anak dengan memiliki aturan yang jelas dan konsisten. Beritahu bahwa mereka menggunakan narkoba tidak boleh karena 1. Melanggar hukum 2. Tubuh masih mengalami pertumbuhan dan otak terus berkembang pada masa anak-anak atau remaja 3. Menggunakan narkoba pada saat remaja membuat anak lebih mungkin menjadi kecanduan bahkan melakukan tindak kejahatan 4. Penggunaan narkoba lebih cenderung membuat keputusan yang buruk saat dalam pengaruh obat-obatan. Terlibat dalam kehidupan anak, 
Satu, anak-anak cenderung menggunakan narkoba ketika mereka kurang diperhatikan oleh orang tuanya. Dua, dengarkan si kecil dan coba tanyakan kepada mereka tentang hal-hal yang mereka sukai. Ini adalah source videonya dari satu, www.organisasi.org, yang kedua, www.sridianti.com, dan yang ketiga, www.alodokter.com. Sekian dari saya, terima kasih. Hi everyone, my name is Bao Shell and today I will inform you about one of the dangerous global issues around in the world. In about global issues, there are tons and tons and tons of problems and a lot are really dangerous. But this problem in particular has been going on from years to years to years and somehow it hasn't been solved yet even though there's a solution right there, but people have been neglecting it for many, many years. So I think it's a matter of fact that I take responsibility to tell you about it. So world hunger is basically people around the world not being starved or just starving. And it doesn't sound like a serious problem from our perspective, but it is a really dangerous problem and let me tell you why so first off i'm gonna start with the causes because it can't just formed in its own well the cause for world hunger is us human beings because we waste tons and tons and tons of food every day and we don't even realize how it affects people other like in other countries or in other parts of the world and such and such and the effects are really really dangerous it can cause your immune system to be weaker or it can even cause to potential death and everyone knows that if it goes to potential death or it does anything to your physical and mental health that it is a really serious problem of course it has to have a, a solution but people just haven't done it yet the solution is to stop wasting food and if you can't you can donate to charity to help other people out and you can also educate people about this so everyone can help thank you for listening have a good day good day of the my name is so and i'm going to be talking about child labor now what is child labor child labor is work which has take children of their potential and dignity A particular form of work can be called child labor depending on the age what is the cost of child labor the rely of why child does labor is that the poor children and the family may rely upon child labor in order to attain basic needs. What are the effects of child labor? Child labor can result in extreme physical and mental harm and can even lead to death. And in nearly all cases, it had cut children off from schooling, restricting their rights and threatening their future. Is child labor a crime? One of the sweeping federal laws that restrict the child employment and abuse is the Fair Law Birth Standard Act, also known as FLSA. What are the examples of common jobs child labor has? Big number of children work in, is in fishing, farming, mining, and other service. Some children work in illegal activities like the drug selling or other traumatic activities. Child labor case in Indonesia. Children in Indonesia are subject to the worst form of child labor. Children do dangerous tasks in the plant agriculture, which include palm oil and other production. Child labor advancement in Indonesia. Indonesia made advancement to stop child labor. The government removed 9,000 children from child labor from Family Hope Program. How many children are involved in child labor? About 152 million children aged 5 to 17 around the world have engaged child labor, working in jobs to get money for their family. Here are the references. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Sanmi Longani and I'm from 6B. My topic is climate change.
climate change. What is climate change? Climate change refers to long-term shift in temperatures and weather patterns. These shifts may be natural, such as through variations in the solar cycle. But since the 1800s, human activities have been the main driver of climate change. Cause of climate change. Burning fossil fuels generates greenhouse gas emissions that act like a blanket wrapped around the earth, trapping the sun's heat and raising temperatures. Example from where greenhouse gas is produced, oil and gas, waste, oil drilling, and industrialization. How does climate change affect us? These climatic changes have a negative impact on the environment. More intense rainstorms in some areas. Other regions may face more severe drought, heat waves, rising sea levels, melting glaciers, and warming oceans can directly harm animals destroy the places they live. Carbon dioxide in the air is increasing. Forest and wildlife are declining. And water life is also getting disturbed due to climatic changes. Who is most responsible for climate change? China, with 9.9 .9 billion tons of carbon dioxide emission, largely due to the export of consumer goods and its heavy reliance on coal. The United States with 4.4 billion tons of carbon dioxide emitted and India with 2.3 billion tons of carbon dioxide emitted. How can we solve the problem of climate change? The main ways to stop climate change are to pressure government and businesses to keep fossil fuels in the ground, introduction of electric vehicles, protect the oceans, reduce plastic and invest in renewable energy. Thank you. Hello, I am Ritwik Singh and my topic is government corruption. I have a PPT based on and I want to show it to you from the beginning. So what is it? It's basically when a government official misuses his power with the help of bribery. How can this relate to my chosen subject, history? It can be related because it has a long history and it has been going for a long time, since the mid-1800s to be precise. Why is it an issue? It can erode trust, it can weaken democracy and it defines inequity. It can affect society economically and also the safety of the people. One example is of Sri Lanka because the president made his relatives an important role for the finance part, causing their funds to go down because they were not qualified enough for it. Why should it be stopped and how can it be stopped? It can, it can destroy countries as shown in the previous slide. So I'll show you some ways to stop this. Make a rule or law regarding this. And if, the, if people are caught doing corruption, we can set an expensive fine for them. Thank you.
Then you have to tell her I'm not sick. Everyone, my name is Pia Upadhyay, and the topic I've chosen for my exhibition is hydroponics. Problem: global warming, net yield, drought, and overpopulation. Solution: Hydroponics and aeroponics. What is hydroponics? Hydroponics is a method of growing plants in nutrient-rich water without soil. The nutrients are added to the water so that the plants can get the necessary nutrients it needs to grow, which they would have otherwise taken from soil. Advantages of hydroponics. Hydroponics needs less space than plants grown in soil. Hydroponic plants use up to 98% less water than plants grown in soil. As the plants are grown in an ideal and controlled environment, they grow all year round, which gives a way higher yield. Hydroponic plants grow faster. Also, as most pesticides live and breed in soil, usually no pesticides are needed. These are the materials I use. Preparation. Development of product. And this is my final product. What I learned. Due to this project, I've learned more about hydroponics. The whole reason I chose this topic was because I was skeptical about this and I was very curious to find out how plants could survive without soil. And hence, I wanted to try it out for myself to see if it actually works or not. So now I know that hydroponics actually works and the actual method of growing plants using hydroponics.